Hello everyone and welcome to Ceiling Plays, a love live visual novel. I couldn't decide on what to play next, so I looked around the internet and this visual novel came out of nowhere and since no one did a playthrough of it, I might as well do it because why not? Anyways, we're gonna start, I guess, because I know nothing about this game except for the members of Muse are in it. So, yeah. MC selection. Ooh! So, we can't play as ourselves. Anyways, we have three lovely choices. We got Hamada Kirin, Nanase Sojiro, and Yuko Mika. Interesting! <laughs> anyway, let's read about all three of them before we jump in and decide on who are we gonna play as. Let's read about Hamada Kirin first. Hamada Kirin, age 16, birthday November 2nd. A day after Rin's birthday. I can see I like them already. Anyway, the description said... Hamada Kirin is a hard-working student. He manages to work at many part-time jobs so that he can save money for his college expenses in the future, but can still help Muse whenever it is needed. One of his part-time jobs is writing an article in an exclusive magazine. Apparently though, Kirin suffers in what they call Chunibu or Bo? I don't know. I'll just call it Chuni for short. He's basically Yohane, I'll just say that. I like him already. Anyway, so let's continue. He has a delusion where he believes that he is the demon lord Belfigor, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I never heard that word before. Kirin is the one that does the arrangement and helps at making the lyrics with Umi. He learned music under his musically inclined parents that also helps at making the lyrics. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's read about the next candidate. Nanase Sojiro. Sojiro Nanase, age 16, birthday July 7th. Sojiro Nanase is a quiet guy. But if you deeply know him, he is very annoying. It is because of his laziness. Laziness that saw me. I, okay, I relate to the two people so far. <laughs> Anyways, he only does what he wants to do, but if he wants something, he, he's gonna do whatever it takes to get it. If there was a task for him, he finished it quickly. He is a gamer and doesn't talk much with girls, for he doesn't know how to interact with them since he can't read what real girls are thinking. Anyways, the last candidate is Yuko Mika. Yuko Mika, age 16, birthday August 2nd. Yuko Mika, a rich guy and, and a oblivious person, though his fooling may hurt others. Oh. He is a perfectionist and doesn't want to do things halfly done. He always keeps everything to himself and when necessary, We'll play the role of the villain. Oh god. He is the manager and dance instructor of the group through the help of Umi. Anyways, who, who should we choose? Oh, I might end up doing a playthrough of all three characters anyway. But for the first part of this gameplay, we're gonna go with Hamada Kirin because he sounds like a nice and crazy guy. Prologue. Ooh! Okay. Darkness. It is the absence of illumination. Ooh. It is the primal state of the universe. This world was always filled with darkness. We were all just accustomed to light that we take for granted at this universal fact. What would happen if the very illumination we were accustomed to were to suddenly vanish right before our very eyes? Yes, this world will be filled with darkness. No, that was not right. Saying that this world will be filled with darkness in the first place was wrong. This world was already engulfed in darkness that were extinguished by the light. If the light were to suddenly vanish, then it is more appropriate to say that darkness shall reign once again. 
I hear the sound of papers being torn. Huh, Homolo Kirin, I know you're a part-timer here on Akiba Monthly Newspaper, so I'll be frank with you if this article is a no-go. Okay, sure. Uh, thanks for the insults. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to reach 50 pages of this. I thought I told you to submit it at least half a page. Oh, Jesus. But, but it's just getting started. Wait, so... Was the beginning that I read with the black screen and white text, was that part of the article thing? I don't know. I guess we'll never know. Ooh, tell me more about it. I fell asleep at the very first page. Oh, great. After that, I'm gonna talk about... That's right. The darkness that's been engulfed in Tokyo these days. Mr. Humara, how many times am I going to tell you to submit me a news article and not a light novel summary? Yes, I was just starting to talk about how the drug syndicates captured recently relate to her. Wait, what? <laughs> Took a dark turn so quickly? Is this another one of your delusions? I need facts, not fiction. Yes, as I was just talking, the drug syndicates recently captured her. We're the very same ones who stabbed an Otonokizaka student in the eye. Whoa! Boy, that escalated quickly. Well, he's not yet an Otonokizaka student yet at the time. Huh? Where did you get your facts then? Imagination? I don't know. <laughs> The student stabbed was my friend, and I was collaborating with Mr. Sekura Uchi in this article, so I have. Oh. Okay. So Rico's dad is a part of this. Oh no, my tongue slipped. I shouldn't have mentioned his name, but now Mr. Sekura Uchi too will get in trouble. Oh great. Let me guess, he told you that the Hiragaya family is behind all this? That conspiracy again? Looks like I'm gonna have a long talk with Mr. Sekura Uchi later. Uh-oh. We're dead. <laughs> Please spare him, I just... Look, Mr. Hamada, you're talented, but remember, you're just a part-timer. Stick to your job. Also, remember that it is the Hiragaya family that runs this business, okay? Yes, ma'am. And where's the article on Love Life School Idol competition supposed to be? That's what I assigned you to do. Who told you to cover on drugs? I hired you to cover on school events precisely because you're a student. But ma'am... <laughs> the new leg that's supposed to eliminate the world, or at least Tokyo, are school idols. How they struggle to make their dreams come true. They will serve as a guiding light to those lost in darkness. Their lights cannot be extinguished. Their music will save the world. That's how it's supposed to go. Oh, we're here, and the end girls are actually in this. Awesome. Except I can't read all this jibber-jabber, except she's just laughing. Okay. Morishima-san, I thought you were going to hear me out. I thought you promised not to laugh. Sorry, Kirin. I just... I knew you were this kind of person, but... I just... Can't stop laughing. What's this? Another one of Kirin's light novel summaries? Tell me more. I don't know what their voices are supposed to sound like, so I'm just doing my imagination. Akemi-san, hear me out. Huh, Miss Impact is right, Kirin. But, sorry, I got carried away. Don't worry, we're here to help. You got us in this very same job after all. Not to mention the other job of being maids at the Akiba Cafe. We're really grateful to you, so we should help out each other as much as possible. Sorry, Kirin, Akemi is right. But I still can't stop laughing. Who would read this kind of article anyway? Apparently, weirdos. Oh, shit! <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow, I did not expect that. <laughs> nice. Anyways, 
Only that kind of person comes to mind. Yeah, and that person happens to be Yohanna. <laughs> oh, man. Don't mind Nanaka, Kirin. She's just feeling a bit lonely ever since we went separate ways. Oh. Akemi, okay, that talk is... We were supposed to build a newspaper club at Chitose Bridge High School. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't freaking know. Right, but then you suddenly transfer to Otono Kizaka High School. And Nanaka is just laughing her ass off. Great. Karen, Akemi, our manager is already waiting for us at the Akiba Cafe kitchen. Come on, Akemi, let's go fit our new maid uniforms. Karen, you should go get changed too. Wait, what? What about our newspaper article? Can we take a today off? Me every day, man. Welcome home, master. Okay, this is freaky. Ugh! Oh, Kieran, so it's you. Oh! We're meeting up with the... One of the other two guys we could select from the play. Awesome. Is that your reaction after seeing your friend? Sorry, I was expecting a maid to serve me. Well, that's a little insulting, but thanks. Sorry, master. Nanaka and Akemi is out doing their newspaper articles. We're out of part-timers. I guess I should ask my cousin or her friends to work part-time here. Here's your usual cappuccino, though. Articles, huh? Yeah, come to think of it, I haven't started mine. It's about the Love Life School Idol competition. Do you happen to know something about it? It would be convenient if our school were to suddenly take part in it. Much better people I know, like my cousin, were to take part in Love Live. It would save me a lot of work. Interviews can be done at home. Wait, who's your cousin? Huh, this is interesting. I guess we'll find out later, Ron. Your imagination is as creative as ever. I get that a lot. Well, I've got news for you. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, convenient, isn't it? My cousin, a school idol. And Kotori and Umi? No, what's more shocking is that my cousin is... Oh. Your cousin's Hanukkah! Kotori and Umi are my childhood friends. What an amazing coincidence. Hello, Earth the Karen. Are you still with me? Or did the darkness take you once again? Yeah, sorry, this is convenient. I'm gonna ask my cousin about it when I get home. Wait, Karen, calm down. I'm getting a headache here. Is your eye fine? Wait, what? Oh, so then we're... Okay. Okay, I get it now. When I play as that Mika guy, I guess we'll find out how it all started. But anyway. Yeah, sorry to worry you. That's not it, bro. You haven't told me a lot of things yet. First of all, do I know this cousin you're talking about? Come to think of it, I haven't introduced my cousin Hanukkah to my best friend Mika yet. Bingo. You just told me that she started a form in Otonokizaka school idol group. She's Kosaka Hanaka, my cousin. I'm sorry I haven't explained much ever since you got stabbed in the eye on your day of our entrance exam. Ouch. That seems terrible. I assumed you already knew since you seem to know everything and you're popular. What does that have to do with this? Yeah, we just transferred last spring, so it wouldn't be that easy. Again, sorry. As I was saying, that Kosaka Hanaka that you're helping is my cousin. Perhaps I should introduce them to each other now so they can talk it out. Perfect. <laughs> Want to meet up with her? Wait until my shift ends. We live in the Hamura Bakery in case you heard of it. No, I'm fine. I already spoke to her. Really? That's a relief then. If you say so, I'll try to help them in any way I can too. Oh, and yeah, I'll give you another box of Homura sweets too. Tell me your thoughts again. I sent him one as a present while he was confined. It's under the name Homura Bakery though. Wait, you made them? Oh wait, that makes sense now because Kieran's last name is Homura and the bakery that Hanukkah works at is called Homura. Okay, I get it. Yeah, didn't we agree that you'll be my taste tester? Did I talk about Mika about this? I can't remember. You know, Kieran, we've been the best of friends, but I really can't follow you and your words most of the time. I get that a lot. Oh yeah, please do tell the student council president 
Ellie-senpai about that. I won't be able to attend tomorrow's meeting. I've got to work on my article. Mika and I are part of the Otono Kizaka Student Council after all. Okay, so... They are with the Student Council with Nozomi and Ellie. Gotcha. Oh! Wow! That was a shock. I did not expect there would be voices in this. But anyway... So, uh, Subasa from A-Rise, or A-Rise, I don't know how to pronounce that, has finally done a new haircut. She cut her bangs and it's not a shame to show her lovely forehead anymore. Mass stranger, that, uh, that's Nico, obviously. <laughs> I heard she used to have a complex about her forehead. Rumors say that she used to be teased because of her forehead. Really? Bunch your flies until they become part of your... A lure, isn't it? I've got to take a memo of it. a race has really outdone themselves in a good way this time. Oh, I couldn't agree more. The way that their boyish costumes fit their new song, Private Wars, everything is just so perfect. This just goes to prove how much a race deserves to be the top school idols. Kaio-chan, are we done yet? I want to eat ramen now, nya. She said nya, right? Is this a real cat girl? Yes. Now that I look closely, she looks a lot like Nakano Kazusa from the K-Off anime. I'm guessing... k -on? I haven't watched it yet. That hungry girl, she has a very seductive voice, and most importantly, she said nya. You're talking about my waifu there, Kirin. You better not throw insults. I've got to talk to her. Of course, this is for work. I have no other intentions. I'm here to talk about school idols. I approach them. Excuse me, girls. I'm Hamada Kirin from Akiba Monthly Newspaper. Do you have time for a short interview? Oh, you're hungry at a time like this? Wait, that might be your Hanayo or Rin, because they like to eat a lot. I brought the two of them to Akiba Cafe without thinking. That mass stranger is nowhere to be found. Sorry about that, girls. I guess the world works this way, right? If you want a favor, you better give something in return. Is that how it works? More importantly, I'm really hungry right now. Let's eat now. We'll talk later, nya. Rin-chan. There it is again. I die every time. Oh, uh, wait. Focus. Focus. I'm working right now with two jabs as a reporter and as a butler. What? Wait, he's Hanukkah's cousin, a reporter, a waiter, and now he's a butler? Although I think waiter and butler are the same thing, so I guess that doesn't count, but whatever. Anyway, moving on. Remember, reality and anime are separate. Your nya fantasies can never be real. Just shut up and enjoy. I mean, be professional. That's right. Feel free to order, it's all on me. After all, I also work here. I smiled, particularly the girl named Rin, the cat girl, who seems too hungry to pay attention to me, to my disappointment. Ooh. After we eat. Hoshizola Rin, right? I'm very sorry, but we don't serve ramen here. I really hope that omelette rice is to your liking, though. Yeah, it's tasty, am I right, Kaiochin? Involuntarily, I made a victory pose. I made it super tasty, of course. I'm glad she likes it. This omelette rice, the way the omelette ketchup and seasoning fits the white rice. It's a revolution. I never tasted anything like it. It's so tasty. Glad you like it, my princesses. Nice. I gave them the typical butler bow. This is what the cafe is known for. This particular gesture is pointed to Rin. I practiced it a lot for this job. I hope Kazusa, Who? I mean the cat girl Rin, notices. By the way, where did your masked friend go? Nya? There it is. Nya attack. Kirin loses 9,999 HP. I don't know if that's 9 billion or 999,000. I don't know. Wait. Why am I speaking to this girl? My business seems to be with that Kaiochin girl who knows a lot about school idols. Oh, the girl I'm talking to earlier, I don't know, perhaps she has some urgent business to do. I don't really know her, by the way. What a waste. She seems to have a solid opinion about idols, too. 
Getting back to topic, I'd like to hear your opinion about A-Rise's last music video. Kyle Chin, what is he talking about? Rin Chan, it's A-Rise. A-Rise, the Akihabara's top school idols and the defending champion of the first Love Live competition. I had to breathe for a sec. When it comes to school idols, everyone thinks of A-Rise first. A rise of UTX Academy. Ah, you're Hamada Kirin, right? If I'm enough for you, I'd gladly share my opinions about A rise. A rise is. Well, Hannah Yo's busy fantasizing about that, so we're just gonna skip. Ah, you diligently took notes as Kayochin blabbed on about A rise. All while sneaking glances at Rin from time to time. Have you thought about becoming school idols yourselves? I asked this question while openly staring at Rin. I want to engrave her cute face in my memory after all. Bruh. That particular question struck home to the two girls. This may be presumptive of me, but you're Otono Kizaka students too, right? They're wearing the same uniforms as my cousin, after all. Yes. Then you must know about my cousin, Kosaka Hanaka. Our students aren't that much in number, so I'm sure you must have bumped to her at least once. After all, Hanukkah makes herself the center of attention unintentionally wherever she goes. To cut this short, Hanukkah and her friends are trying to make a school idol group in order to save our school from shutting down. I've been asked to try and help them recruit members, but I'm busy with work and I don't know anyone other than people from my class. Much less girls. Me? An idol? It's impossible for us. We're grateful for the meal, but... I was disappointed face upon hearing Rin's answer. I knew it wouldn't be easy, right? But seeing my cousin work hard, I think it's worth a try. They practice after school in the Otonokizaka rooftop and during lunch at the courtyard. Koizumi-san, your high-pitched voice would be perfect to set the melody of any song. If you could just wear contacts and wear appropriate idol costumes, I believe you would put other idols to shame. And your friend here is just perfect. I inhaled deeply and looked at Rin. Boy, if you don't get- She has the best girly voice and trendy short bob hairstyle. Plus, she looks like she's athletic. I bet she would look really cute as an idol. Cute, huh? Me? Me and Rin looked at each other after realizing what I have just said. She averted her gaze away from me and blushed. After that, Rin and Hanayo would always greet me whenever we passed by each other at school. Hanayo will always request me to meet up with some school idols. Rin would always try to join me to work for free food. I willingly comply. This is until Hiragaya Ro or Rio. Hirigaya Ro is my childhood friend, if I could call him a friend. Friend is spelled with the phrase E, N, and D. End. After all, and if you take away the letter R, the first letter of Rio's name, it will be spelled as Fiend. Okay? I guess I don't get it, but okay. It's not an exaggeration. Hirigaya is a fiend even more evil than me, the Demon Lord. He was, and he always will be. He is the reason why I lost the national flute competition when I was a kid. Bruh. He was one of the kids who bullied me in the past. And now... Who would have thought that he would resort to violence? Uh-oh. Just because I became closer to the girl he's interested in, Hussie's over Rin. Oh. Oh, fuck. What a coward. If he really liked Rin, why can't he claim her for himself instead of weeding out potential rivals? What a wuss. It's not like I can do anything to Hirigaya Ro. He's the son of one of our school's board directors. Uh-oh. Kirin, are you alright? You're covered in wounds and bruises all over your body and your uniform is in tatters. Oh no, at least Kotaro is here to help us. I'm fine. <coughs> My body seems to disagree as I coughed out blood. Disgusting! What happened? Which is all those bruises? It's the heroes. They have finally laid their hands on the Holy Sword Excalibur. My demon sword, Durandal, is no match against it. I don't get this, but okay. Kirin, so Kotori won't buy my usual dark world fantasy setting, huh? Sorry to worry you, I just had a little accident in the light music club room. Kotori scratches her head at my vague explanation. 
I was trying to spin my guitar like they do in rock concerts. But yeah, the wires were still plugged in. I tripped a lot. Good thing I didn't break anything. It would be hell if I actually had to pay for something that broke on accident. Guitars and amplifiers are too expensive. I agree, friend. I agree. Kotali brought me to the infirmary without saying another word. She's really perceptive. She didn't ask any further and pretended to accept my lie. She's a member of the school's health committee, by the way. After her first aid treatment with the help of the school nurse. I've heard you're doing the school idol thing with Hanako and Umi. Yes, but I'm not really good enough. I wonder if I'm dragging the two down. Oh, don't cry. I got you, girl. You have a really cute voice, and you're cute, so I think you'll do just fine. Kotori blesses slightly. But... but I don't really have any talent. You're good at sewing, right? Perhaps you could help me make the costumes? Kotori seems to like my suggestion. That's a great idea, but I wonder if I can do it. I'm not confident enough. She's losing confidence again. I've got to back her up. I've got just the thing for you. Akiba Cafe is understaffed right now. If you're interested in becoming a maid, you can drop by and be hired on the spot. Thank you, Kirin. I'll consider it. That ends my conversation with Kotori. My recent conversation with Kotori went really well. It wasn't so bad. Considering that I was rejected by Kotori during our childhood, it's a great leap that we were able to talk normally now, as friends. I just have to accept the fact and move on. She rejected me. She doesn't love me. Not before, not now, not in the future. So Kieran has a thing for Rin and Kotori. At least she hasn't forgotten about me yet. She still treats me as her friend. That's reassuring in the very least. Back in the classroom, I'm waiting for my mom to drive me home. Oh no, I forgot to interview her. Now I still don't have an article about the Otonokizaka school idols. Uh-oh. Oh, Rico, hey! What's up? Oh, Senpai, there you are. The student council president is looking for you. I've been searching for you in the Let Music Club, but you're nowhere to be found. Rico notices my bandages. Uh-oh. Senpai, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, Rico. Don't worry. I just tripped a little. Nothing much. Are you sure about that? I'll call your mom. I mean, Humala sensei to escort you home. I'll also inform Ayase-san that you can't attend the student council meeting. I'm already waiting for her, though. Rico is as thoughtful as always. Thanks as always, Rico. I'll appreciate your artworks once again to return the favor. And feature it in Akiba Monthly as a thanks. You don't have to do it, senpai. No, I have to. You and Mr. Sakula Uchi have done so much to me and my family. I guess I'll do the interview with some other time. I'll ask my cousin later when I get home, if I remember. 